Hey guys, so I am in the hospital here at Tampa General Hospital. And I have a number of things going on um, that's kind of been, I wouldn't say progressing, but that's been bothering me maybe a good like two to three months. Um, so I decided that I'll just um, invite you all to see what a hospital stay is like um, during, you know, just having lupus flares and just having um, issues just in general, long-term um, issues. So I did decide to come over here. Um, I had some symptoms kind of start off maybe two to three months ago and um, it has just lasted and it kind of took over a different form maybe I get like three weeks to go to a month and at that time I had gone over to the hospital in Sebring and they just did not take the issue serious and um, admitted me overnight and then sent me on my way the next day um, but things had gotten so bad that I got to the point where I just wasn't going to um, go back to them and I came over here to Tampa just thinking that things would be a little more advanced and they would be a little more experienced so um, we came here and I've been here since yesterday so I spent last night here and I'm spending tonight here as well and I told them I said I'm not leaving here until I get some answers and you know we can figure out what exactly is going on so I'm here <laughs> so to speak on uh, why I came in again this has been going on maybe like two to three months and what happened was I noticed that um, on my lower legs I realized that I was like extremely extremely sore and tender to the point where you could not even touch my legs um, they would swell at times and um, like I've seen like just like some circulation like issues like if I'd wear um, socks or like leggings or something there would be like an indent to where um, my circulation was like poor there and I mean I don't wear tight clothes I don't wear like tight socks or anything I wear hospital socks around the house so I knew there was some type of like issue as far as why my circulation would be um, poor in those areas um, so I just dealt with that thinking that it was related to the mixed connective tissue disease that I have or just like the muscle um, issues that come with lupus and and the muscle disease um, and then maybe about maybe a good like three weeks ago I noticed that I was experiencing throbbing and like sharp pains in my lower legs and also within that time maybe like a good two to three weeks I noticed um, like an outbreak on the skin so almost like a rash on the skin and it seemed like coincidental like along the patterns of the rash is where um, I was experiencing the sharp pain and the throbbing in my legs. So it had been like a number of symptoms. The um, throbbing of the sharp pains, um, like a burning sensation at times, almost like a pulling sensation as well. And so maybe um, early January to mid-January, I went down again to the hospital in Sebring and they did no testing. Um, they just looked at the rash, you know, felt the area a little bit and they just assumed that it was related to the lupus rashes that I have um, along various parts of my body. And um, they did a solumed draw treatment, which is steroids. It's just steroids from an IV. Oh, just a second, my nurse is coming in, guys. So I think I left off explaining um, 
what happened at the other hospital so again they did like no treatments um no further testing like they didn't do an ultrasound to check like on my circulation or anything like that um they just did my regular solumedral treatment which is the steroids from the iv and um they gave me payments and then they discharged me the next day well um i go home and i probably was okay without the pain for like a day and um that's just because uh, steroids is just kind of like a miracle drug so it doesn't matter what what kind of condition you have or what, what you're experiencing is gonna help you because it's gonna bring down inflammation um so and then i was still like on the pain meds and stuff was, st was still in my system so um that i was just kind of weaning off of that and then the pain just started back up so the odd thing is that the pain is kind of timed so during the day um it'll mildly come to me a little bit or throb but at night when it's night and i'm like at rest and still you know just laying in bed is when there's just like excruciating excruciating leg pain um a sharp pain like sharp throb even like a burning sensation the tingling um i've been dealing with that for weeks every single night so um, pain medicine narcotics um opioids you know i have all of those things at home because i frequently have like different procedures and i've had different surgeries and stuff like that so i always just keep all of those meds just because with um muscle weakness and joint pain and stuff like that a lot of times i need something that's a little stronger than just like ibuprofen and um aleve and like just different um things like that so even after taking those pain meds um they didn't do anything as far as with the pain so um i came here to tampa general just because you know i felt like they were like just more advanced and they would be able to help me more and things like that and so of course um wait i have to back up guys <laughs> let me back up sorry so after being admitted there and discharged there um actually this week it got to the well the following week um it got to the point where it was just terrible so what i did was i told my rheumatologist that i needed to be seen asap and also i saw my primary doctor so i had seen my primary doctor um I think maybe Wednesday. Oh, hi. <laughs> Do you like being, um, y'all like being, I got a YouTube channel, but if y'all don't want me to record y'all, that's y'all, y'all don't like to be recorded. I won't. I don't mind. You don't mind? <laughs> Hold on, let me put it. I'm sorry. So, as you know, when you're in the hospital, um, you know, people are coming in and out, uh, ordering things as far as, like, your food and stuff like that, and um, getting blood drawn and administering your medicines and stuff like that. So, I'm sorry. They'll, I'll probably be interrupted a few times. But I think I left off at um, last week seeing my primary doctors and seeing my rheumatologist. So, they were able to get me in. I went to my primary doctor, I think that was um, Thursday night, and he took a look at me. Um, he still was just kind of, you know, overwhelmed, just a little over his head as far as what exactly um, to pinpoint these issues as, but he did notice that I had a cluster of shingles on my right um, kneecap. So I have a history of shingles. This would be my third time having shingles. So, um, he gave me like your basic uh, meds that treat shingles and I started off that med that day. So, I think it was Friday, yeah, it had to be Friday um, morning, I went in to see my rheumatologist and she was just not happy with um, this rash on my lower legs and just not happy with the symptoms I was having in general. Um, so she wanted me to do further testing and what the testing was was an ultrasound or I think they call it a dapper um, and what they did was 
they checked out like my veins and um, like my it's an arterial um, ultrasound as well so that's pretty much just checking uh, my circulation my flow of things to make sure I don't have any blood clots or any circulation type uh, issues so they saw a few things you know um, that may have been out of the ordinary but nothing like too concerning um, not average but again not like too concerning I don't have clots or anything like that so after that, uh, that night, the pain kind of came pretty bad Friday night for me. And then um, I just tried to just get through the night and take like oxycodone and like stuff like that. And again, the pain meds have not been helping, but the oxycodones, they do kind of like keep me calm to the point where like I can rest. So that helps um, with the pain as well just being able just to sleep through it um, so I dealt with that Friday night and I dealt with that Saturday as well and um, like Sunday morning I told my mom it was probably like 7 a.m. I'm like no, I can't like deal with this anymore we have to I wasn't resting um, and again rest is so important to someone that has lupus or any autoimmune disease because fatigue is just something that we suffer from and if we do not get our proper rest th things can just really really um go wrong so i told her i said you know i'm just so restless that we have to do something and um we came over here sunday morning and you know we were prepared we were prepared if security um needed to get involved um I was, I, you know, I was serious about not going anywhere or not leaving here until we got some answers um, regarding this leg pain. Because at the end of the day, um, I can't go by opinion and assumption. Um, if something were to really, really drastically occur and, you know, I were to, like, lose my legs or something like that, you know, all of these people who gave me assumptions and opinions, you know, they're going to go on with their life. <laughs> and here I am going to be stuck without a leg. And that's just, I'm not trying to do that. So, um, we're here. Um, again, I have been here since last night. You know, um, well, I got, I got admitted yesterday evening. So, I spent the night here yesterday. And it's... Monday night now and I'm staying here tonight um, just to continue doing some following testing right now they did rule out um, bungle or like infection in my legs so that's good um, they are leaning a little toward um, like either nerve issues or vascular issues so we're going to continue doing some testing with that um, also, they see some things concerning as far as with my kidney. Um, so I'm just praying that uh, the kidney stuff is just not going to be an issue. Because that's not necessarily good um, news to someone who has lupus. So, you know, I'll just kind of keep you guys updated, um, you know, on this whole journey and We'll see what happens tomorrow. Say hi, mother. Girl, if you don't stop playing. I look how I'm looking on that video. Oh, you look fine. I do not. So hi, dad. Um, dad. Hello. <laughs> this is my lovely vegan black bean burger. Doesn't taste too bad. So this is pretty much like my care plan. Um, see the different like specialties.